before I get started, there was absolutely no discussions with this Andy Signor video of where I agreed to get paid and there was no discussions of subscriptions. Money didn't even, the topic of money never even came into play. So for people to be putting that out, oh, you will be getting checked later on. Let me just start by saying this because I know people don't watch the full video. To all my supporters, the people who follow me, who knows my heart, who knows my intentions, this video has absolutely nothing to do with anything that you have done. Again, if you are my followers, my supporters who've been riding with me and know my intentions and my heart, this video has absolutely nothing to do with you. And to my Sussex Squad members, let me tell you something. I know you guys and the comments that I make in this video has nothing to do with you specifically if you're listening to this it has something to do with the people that knows <laughs> what they're doing for those of you who don't know i did i made a video with andy signor um from popcorn planet and popcorn palace we had a debate slash conversation this all started because of a video that i did a few weeks ago talking about or listing the 26 hate accounts on YouTube and he was listed as one of those people. The reason I even did that video is because I was sick and tired of every time I search Megan, all you see <laughs> is hate, 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 lies, 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 conspiracy, conspiracy, conspiracy. And I knew once I did that video that it, it was a possibility that it couldn't get a reaction from the, the Rangers and it did literally. Because I did that video, went to sleep, woke up, and I have an email from, who else? Andy Signor. He had saw the video. He said he was going to do a reaction to the video. But he said he, he, he offered me to come onto his channel to have a discussion. But before I even replied back to his email, I actually reached out to some of my friends. And I was like, should I do this video? And I was like, I kind of wanted to do it because as you guys know who's been watching me from the beginning, I've been saying for the longest, I want to debate or confront these people about the lies that they constantly, constantly, constantly tell. Because it seems like no one seems to actually get on camera and do it. So I was like, I want to do this, but I want to do it where it's like we come, we can discuss a topic and we bring our receipts and it goes from there. I've been wanting to do this for a while. But it just never happened. I, I tried to reach out to certain people and they all chickened out. So when this Andy Signor thing came about, I was just like, do I want to do this? Because for one, I have watched him enough and seen some stuff on, on his channel. And I've seen and heard things about him. I've, I've known enough to know that uh, this guy is a little bit slimy. Then I agreed. I agreed to do it. Uh, we didn't discuss anything about like having... Um, a topic. It was just pretty much he wanted to hear my thoughts on why I called him a hate account. So I actually I would have preferred if we had came up or uh, discussed a topic to to debate about, and I could have brought my receipts. And I that's how I really wanted to do it. But this was more spontaneous. It was literally like, okay, he emailed me, and then an hour or so later, hour or two later, here I am, and we're. But once I came on there, it was like we discussed, you know. Uh, we did a little, we did a little preamp thing and, you know, we both agreed that we would not put anything out or show this to anybody until the actual video was out. Now, announcements were oh, cool. Like we, you know, told people, hey, we got this discussion coming up. That was okay. That was agreed upon. But as far as people seeing the footage of this, no one was supposed to see the footage until the actual video. So... That is where the whole Steph situation came up. And I put this tweet out. And when I was like, I find it funny that Andy gave early access to Steph <laughs> when we agreed that we wouldn't do that. Early access meaning that no one was supposed to see the footage. No one was supposed to see the footage until the video was released. It had nothing to do with no money. And I don't know how people, that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know what some people comprehension, like what's going on with people comprehension these days? Because where do you see anything of, it was a subscription that had nothing to do with money at all. Nothing. And the whole silly thing, the silly twins thing, 
that came about because they did their own little video responding or replying to our video, me and Andy. And it was just like, I asked Andy to come onto my channel. I've never asked Andy one time to come to my channel. And I wouldn't ask Andy to come to my channel. I'm good. We good over here. The point of me even doing the video was to have it on record. Okay? Because with people, that's what I'm saying. Comprehension and common sense these days is like irrelevant. <laughs> because people don't realize the topic of Meghan and Harry when you search it on social media. It is completely, utterly, 80% of it is negative. And it is a bunch of people spewing hate after hate after hate after hate after hate. And no one seems to call them out about it. Not on video. Maybe Twitter, but Twitter isn't the only form of social media that people uses. This has nothing to do with this person versus this person or this person versus that person. This has to do with the general public, people who are not really into this subject, who may so one day just look up and type if a, a news story come up and it's like trending. They looking up Megan and Harry on YouTube and then the first thing they see is Megan faked her pregnancy. Megan is a narcissist. And then the list of people that I listed in that video are all the people they're seeing. They don't see no pushback. They don't see nothing. They just see a bunch of people making all these claims. And then more than likely, people are going to be prone to believe that. Me doing a video with Andy had everything to do with someone on record confronting him about the sh that he does on a regular basis. That's it. That's all. And if people do not understand that, I don't know what to tell you. And frankly, I don't care at this point at all. And, the, and also, I did it because I wanted just to prove to people that Andy is, no offense, he's kind of a slime. No offense. I knew everything that Andy was going to do from the moment I agreed to do it. I just wanted people to see it in real time. Which is why I even made this tweet in the first place. One thing you, need, you guys need to learn about me and learn it quickly is that you may not understand the things, some of the things I do originally, but at some point you will. I know what I be doing. And I did exactly, and he did exactly what I knew he was going to do. Which is why I was letting a lot of the condescending remarks Mr. Signor was making, I just let it slide on past. Because I knew he wanted a reaction from me. I knew he wanted me to go into certain stuff that he don't want people to talk about. Also, this discussion was never for me to be some middleman. Middleman where? There is no middle ground for me at all. It was just a basically to... Someone get on this. It was basically for me just to get on here and just say, hey, you're full of sh and I know you're full of sh and I don't think no one see that you're full of ish. And I'm calling you out on your platform, sir. Little do you guys know, he has the biggest platform at all of the derangers on YouTube, which is going to lead me to this next topic. I actually was going to just pay this whole topic no mind. I, was, I wasn't even going to do this video for it originally. Like I was going to do a video, then I decided, no, nah, I don't care no more. I was going to let it die die down and, and just move past it and move on and just because I don't care what no one thinks. But one of my very lucky subscribers and followers sent me a DM on Twitter and a screenshot. It says, mm, just watch a video of a certain new content creator. And all I have to say is he has a lot of growing up to do. He got bamboozled by pervert and thing one and th of thing one and two on YouTube. Okay. Story. He thought it would be a good idea to participate in a de de debate video and offer it by subscription only to get paid. That is news to me. Well, it looks like the perv gave people early access and a newbie got nothing. <laughs> More news to me. I can't even defend him because why would you work with these clowns? He was, of course, called a racial slur. And now OG squaddies are calling him a clout chaser. And they've been saying that since the beginning. And dumb. Never dumb. I think he may hang it up after this. We'll see. <laughs> well, at first, I was like, where is this from? And I come to find out. This is from a, a, a message board, the infamous Lipstick Alley. So like I said before, I'm not new to this, okay? So I've been watching this 
whole topic of Megan and Harry's royal family since 2016. I just didn't fully get enthralled in it as fully until like 2017, 2018. But I've been around. So I knew Lipsic Alley. I know all the places the people go to that get all the information and, and the, the receipts and scoop and all the stuff that we, we see on a regular basis. This is one of the places I have visited in the past. But I didn't know that people were saying this about me. Me, 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 me. So I walk my little old self over there and I'm just looking at, I'm, I go to the the, 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 the thread of which this message was in. And I look and I'm just like, oh, these people is, wow. So that's why I'm like, I had to put that disclaimer because first of all, if you don't know how to separate individuals from a group and you paint the entire group as one way, I don't like that and I'm not going to do that. This is why I'm saying that the Sussex Squad, the, the people in the Sussex Squad overall are great people and have done good things. They do things for charity. They're just, a they're people who just, they don't trust a lot of people. I totally get it. This, this topic isn't a thing that you want to just allow everyone in because there's a lot of weird people. I've seen it. I've seen a lot of people who try to message me pretending like they're supporting me or supporting the Harry and Meghan and they're really not they're just trying to do some weird stuff to get some access that they think that I may have which I don't which is why I would never come for the Sussex Squad overall ever because a lot of them has been supportive of me from the beginning they still support me so as I'm saying this now do not take this personal because I know who you are this what I'm about to say has to do with people <sighs> And also, let me say this. I've always said that I'm not part of no squad. I'm not part of no Sussex squad. I'm not part of no fan group. Love the Sussex squad to pieces, but I'm not part of any fan group. I am a Megan and Harry supporter. And also I do this because I do not like how the media as a whole is sent up there lying to people, flat out lying to people and manipulating situations and putting out false information and creating dangerous environments and dangerous situations for People potentially in the future. That is what my whole purpose of being here for. Those two things and those two things only. Now, for someone to sit up there and just flat out lie on me and to, to take this whole thing and just flip it and manipulate it to try to do what I do not know why, that is a bunch of BS because I do a lot of hard work for this topic. I do my best. I try to do my best to get the truth out there. Even though, even with my little 7,000 subscribers on YouTube and my 26,000 followers on TikTok, I do my best. If no one likes my content, that is totally fine. I really don't care. But what you're not going to do is, is try to taint my intentions and put out false narratives out there because you want to gatekeep, which is a problem with some of the OG Sussex Squad members. You don't own Meghan and Harry, okay? And you're not the only ones who can do stuff. Just because you do your stuff the way you do it don't mean that I'm supposed to do it that way. I said from the beginning, I'm not a Sussex Squad member. I support most of y'all fully, but some of y'all can Y'all have chased so many great people away. Y'all don't even realize the stuff that some of the stuff that you do. There's a reason why there's an overwhelming of haters on YouTube and other places and Twitter is because people like this and other commenters keep chasing people away because they're scared of not only your derangers, but they also got to worry about the infighting with the people who are supposed to be supporting them. But you don't see that because you're so stuck in a bubble and how you operate lost sight of what is more important. And it's not you. It's not you at all. I've allowed certain things to continue on for so long. And I'm just like, I'm not about to do it no more because no one's about to disrespect me. No one is about to lie on me. If you don't like my content, you don't have to watch it. I am totally fine. It is okay. I'm not forcing you to watch me. You can block me if you want. <laughs> I ain't losing no sleep. But don't sit up there putting the lies out about me at all. Because you guys, some of you guys do that a lot. You guys want to be the only ones. And that's weird. Very weird. You don't own them. Anyone who feels slighted about a, this subject can easily get on here and do the content. I have never once tried to block or tell people they shouldn't do this. I have been, actually, I've encouraged more content creators because you guys act like 
the only media that people are reading is Twitter and this form, this thread. They're not. People go all different types of places. And if you're not going to fill those voids, guess what? Someone else will, and it might be someone that you don't like. Like one of the derangers who's going to fill it with hate and lies. Um, Let me say this. It doesn't surprise me by some of this reaction. Can I say I'm a bit disappointed? Possibly. Um, because you think when you do when you start doing this content, I guess you you really you you know you go into it with the intentions to do good and to get truth out there and not to get into the, like these weird territories with conspiracy theories is why which is why I don't personally dibble in that because I feel like once you start doing that your credibility starts to just decrease and um I always thought because like I really be trying to like really go hard and really try to like get the truth out there. I didn't think that people, I just thought more, I think most most people, most I know most people that follow me, they know my intentions and they knew what I was trying to do. But I just, I just thought maybe some people would comprehend things. And I know that isn't, I keep bringing that word of comprehension, common sense, because those are two important qualities to have when you're doing this type of content and to not overreact about things and not think everything is a conspiracy or to think everything is everyone is out to get you. And so for people to think that I'm doing this for attention and money when they already know support Megan and Harry, at least on social media, what cloud do you really get from that? If anything, you get more of a headache. Like this whole video I did with this guy, I didn't get anything from that. I damn sure didn't get no money from it. If anything, I just got a bunch of <laughs> and it's like get the on my face. Then <laughs> I my subscribers and still my subscribers I had before him. I didn't gain anything from this, nor was I even intending to gain anything from this. So that's what I'm like. What clout did I get? What clout has I ever have I ever gotten? I'm probably one of the few the uh, content creators that is still building. I just thought people would just see the overall good work that I at least I thought I did this isn't going to change anything for me though guys I'm not going to stop doing this content I don't care if I get one view two views I'm going to still have this out there because it is not just about the rangers it's not just about the Sussex squad and that is the problem right there people thinking that it's about groups and themselves it's not about none of this I you do this because you believe two people got wronged and a lot of people were in on it. And also you do this because the an entity or a, or an institution that's supposed to be out there to provide news and to be there for the people is no longer doing that. They're just making stuff up and lying and, and, and putting misinformation out there. And Megan and Harry is just somehow getting wrapped up into being just a symptom of a bigger problem. That is the only thing that you should be worried about. And I also want to put this out there too, because I don't, I'm not a person who, I don't, the content creators, when it comes to the content creation stuff, I've always said this. And if you can go back to see that I said this, I'm not mad at you for your content at all. I'm not even mad if you try, if you make an opinion from your content, I feel like if you working, you deserve to get compensated. That goes for anybody. But the moment you start putting out information that is wrong and then you're not correcting it, or you're just purposely just putting out conspiracy theories, that is an issue for me. So, again, thank you for everybody who's been rocking with me, who's been supporting me, who would continue to support me and rock with me and know my intentions and my true heart, my pure heart. Thank you. That's it. That's all. Y'all have a wonderful day. And if I want also... If I do decide to do another debate, which I'm probably not, if I ever do another debate, it is going to be someone who's a more official and someone who is not a deranger, 
but also to if I decide to confront someone else, that would be my decision. My decision. If I want to put receipts out there and confront them about their lies, that is my decision. No one else. This has nothing to do with you. That's it. And if you don't like that, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. 